Achieving asylum is a lengthy process and one that's not easy. Even under the Biden administration's new immigration policy changes. New year, new rules for asylum seekers. Now they can wait in the U.S. while they find out if they're getting asylum. But the process to get that asylum is far from easy. They um, indicate in the detention center that they want to apply for asylum. And then they need to go through what's called a credible fear process. That way they're screened for asylum by the asylum office. And if that process is approved, then they apply with the immigration judge. Migrants are given two chances to pass an interview, one with an asylum officer and another with an immigration judge. But just because they pass the interview doesn't mean they'll be granted asylum. There are five things that qualify a person for asylum, race, nationality, religion, social group, or political opinion. If you cannot show persecution on account of at least one of those five things, then it's that they, you don't have basis for, uh, for asylum. At their court hearing, asylum seekers can show documentation of persecution like a police report. But if there's no documentation, that doesn't mean they're automatically ruled out. Because under immigration law, if a judge finds you credible, that's that's enough. Which is why both local attorneys say asylum seekers have a better case with a lawyer on hand to help prove and maintain credibility. It does make a difference uh, in order of preparation of your case and chances of succeeding. And also um, people with immigration attorneys are more likely to show up at their hearings. The steps for asylum are mostly the same among those detained undocumented immigrants and those who are here on a visa. Reporting in Yuma, April Hedinger, 13 on your side.